Is Sexification your debut single? Yes. Okay. Sexification is a musical masterpiece. Okay. <laughs> I, I hear music very well. It is a musical masterpiece. Briefly tell us what that track is about and and what and what song from your record best describes your mood today. Okay. So Sexification was the last song we completed of the album, but it was the first track that I heard before I heard any other track. I loved it. Uh, my producer, shout out to D. Bryant in Atlanta, <clears throat> the greatest. Um, he played it for me and the team, uh, me and my Stems family, Monet and Jimmy, my brother Russell was with us. And I loved the track and I told him like, want that. You know, and when you're in the studio, you're just listening, you're vibing. And this was our first time creating musically. So he's figuring me out. We're figuring him out. You know, he's he's listened to my EP, but he's still trying to pinpoint who you did a lot of other people's music. What's your sound? And so we kept that that track on the back burner, created the whole album in about five to six days. And a line is it's literally going back to the 70s, 70s and the 80s where we're telling a story. Every song flows into the next. You don't want to stop it. You want to say, oh, wow, this is, this is a story that we're singing here. And after everything was said and done, we said, okay, now that we finished my music, I'm creating a sound. I'm trying to write for everybody else now. Now that I can call myself a songwriter, let's go. Yeah. We st me and Jimmy started uh, the first verse and chorus of sexification. And we're so hyped about it. We're trying to figure out who can we give this to? Chris Brown, Tank, all these names are being, you know, thrown out. And we, we played it for some of our producer friends. Everyone kept saying, no, that's your song. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is, this is to shop around. You know, we're writing this for somebody else. Who don't sing that, Jason? There's so many people out here that can sing it. <laughs> yeah, but you have such a distinct sound that once someone hears this as a track for somebody else, they're going to assume that it's going to be you. Right. And I've learned it don't take me more than once or twice to hear it. Right. I don't have to wait for the rocks to cry out right. for you to know that this is for me. Right. And because I've spent so much time in my life pushing other people's experiences, pushing their ministries, pushing their agendas. Now, when God drops something in my lap that he's like, no, bro, this is for you. I'm like, yep, it is. And I move, I move.